the universe just got a whole lot stranger. An interstellar comet, designated 3I Atlas, is hurtling toward Mars, and the latest data from Harvard and NASA reveals something truly astonishing. This isn't just a chance encounter. Scientists are now openly discussing the possibility that this object is, incredibly, navigating its own path. The closest approach distance to Mars has been cut by hundreds of thousands of miles, putting it inside the orbit of one of Mars's moons. What many overlooked is the precise, rhythmic pulses of gas erupting from the comet, acting like tiny thrusters. This shocking fact has elevated a mere astronomical observation into a planet-sized emergency. The stakes couldn't be higher as we follow this bizarre cosmic journey. Harvard's alarms ring out. Inside Harvard's Center for Astrophysics, the first real jolt didn't come from a telescope's lens, but from a computer screen showing error margins shrinking with alarming speed. It was in the quiet hours, around 2 in the morning, when a routine orbital fit for 3I Atlas completed its run. The numbers were different, tighter, closer. The closest approach to Mars had suddenly been cut by nearly 400,000 miles compared to just the week before. This wasn't a direct hit, no, but it was well within the orbit of Phobos, Mars's innermost moon. The margin for error, once measured in millions of miles, had collapsed to less than the distance between New York and Los Angeles. To put it mildly, this was a cosmic wake-up call. Within hours, a flurry of urgent emails and flagged messages bounced between offices. Graduate students, usually focused on more theoretical work, were suddenly running complex simulations, feeding in fresh data from powerful telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope and the Very Large Telescope. Each new observation, streaming in from a global network of ground and space-based instruments, nudged the comet's path a fraction closer to Mars. By that very afternoon, a draft press release was quietly circulating, its subject line stark. Potential Mars intersection. Urgent review. Professor Lowe's team wasn't alone in their growing concern. Experts from the Black Hole Initiative and the Minor Planet Center across campus were pulled into cross-disciplinary discussions. One postdoctoral researcher, staring at the latest data matrix, typed out a simple, stark message. This isn't a drill. The orbital uncertainty ellipse, that visual shorthand astronomers use to map where an object could end up, had narrowed to a razor-thin band. Just two days before the public alert, Harvard's internal risk models showed the probability of a close Mars encounter rising by a factor of 10. While the absolute odds still remained low, this difference was enough to trigger a blazing red flag. The department's official statement to the public was carefully worded, measured, but behind those closed doors, the mood was incredibly tense. Every new data point was meticulously logged, time-stamped, and triple-checked. Harvard's advanced computational models, now running hourly, consistently showed a troubling trend. Unless a major, unpredictable outgassing event somehow kicked 3I Atlas off course, the comet would pass dangerously close to Mars. Close enough that even a single, unforeseen pulse could tip the balance from a near miss to a devastating impact. The decision to go public wasn't taken lightly, you see. But with the margin for error shrinking and the world's largest space agency, NASA closely watching, the risk of staying silent far outweighed the risk of raising an alarm. By the time the press release hit the wires, NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, or JPL, had already requested Harvard's latest orbital solutions. The handoff was complete, signaling a profound shift. For the very first time, the world's attention had moved from purely academic caution to the urgent domain of planetary defense. And the unsettling question hanging over every monitor in Cambridge, and soon, across the globe, was this. What if the next data point brings Mars into the bullseye? Many people are crazy about this idea, wondering if this is truly just a coincidence or something far more complex. The implications for our understanding of interstellar objects and our vulnerability in the cosmos were suddenly magnified. The Red Planet is not just a scientific curiosity, it's a future home, a cosmic proving ground. The idea that an object from deep space could somehow choose it as a target is baffling, unsettling, and undeniably compelling. The most shocking fact is how rapidly the situation escalated from a distant anomaly to a potential planetary threat, all within a matter of weeks. 
This isn't a hypothetical scenario from a science fiction novel. It's happening right now, teaching us vital lessons about our place in a universe that is far more dynamic and mysterious than we often assume. And yet, this is only the beginning of the story, as an even stranger detail about this comet began to emerge. Is 3 I Atlas steering itself? At the heart of the 3 I Atlas mystery lies a rhythm that absolutely defies all known comet science. It's not random. It's not chaotic. Instead, like clockwork, every 17 minutes, the object's tail erupts in a measured pulse of gas. This isn't just an observation from a single source. Time series data from the Gemini South Telescope in Chile, cross-checked by arrays in Hawaii, and space-based platforms, all confirm this precise cycle. 17 minutes, accurate to within a few seconds, repeating for days on end. This consistent behavior is visible in the brightness curve of the comet, showing a distinctive sawtooth pattern, rising and falling with each eruption. It's truly a wow factor, a detail that makes astronomers scratch their heads. Spectrographs reveal a surge of cyanogen and carbon monoxide during these bursts, the telltale markers of cometary outgassing. Typically, ordinary comets vent gas when sunlight heats fresh ice causing messy, unpredictable eruptions triggered by cracks, surface spin, or uneven heating. But in 3I Atlas, the pulses arrive with metronomic regularity, as if governed by an internal precise clock. This is the thing nobody tells you about comets. They're supposed to be chaotic. This one isn't. Observers at the Very Large Telescope meticulously tracked the direction of these plumes, noting that each burst subtly aligns with the comet's changing velocity vector. Over a single night, the cumulative thrust from these perfectly timed eruptions nudges the object's path by measurable amounts. Harvard's photometry logs show micro-accelerations that precisely match the timing of these gas events, directly feeding into the updated trajectory models that suggest a collision with Mars. The implications of this are unsettling, to put it mildly. If each pulse acts as a tiny thruster, then 3i Atlas isn't just drifting passively through space, it's steering. This 17-minute cycle, validated across multiple global observatories, introduces a critical variable that no purely gravitational model can ignore. For planetary defense analysts, this means every new pulse could either narrow or widen the margin of safety, making predictions a high-stakes guessing game. The next scheduled eruptions, already plotted on global telescope networks, are watched with growing, almost desperate anticipation. Is this periodicity a natural resonance, a bizarre cosmic coincidence, or something far stranger? The question looms large, adding a layer of intrigue that goes beyond mere physics. As the countdown to the Mars encounter continues, the object's clockwork behavior has become the focal point of late-night debates in observatories from Cambridge, Massachusetts to Pasadena, California. No known comet in our solar system pulses this way. The question is no longer just about where 3i Atlas is headed, but how and why it moves with such precise intent. This isn't just a comet anymore. It's a puzzle, a mystery begging for answers. And you can see this everywhere, from whispered theories in scientific journals to heated discussions on online forums. The thought that something from another star system could behave in such a seemingly deliberate manner is enough to make anyone wonder. What if this isn't just rock and ice, but something else entirely? This startling possibility throws open the doors to even wilder scenarios, forcing us to consider Mars's role in this unfolding drama. Robotic missions at risk. Mars has never been the focus of so much speculation, not as a destination, but as a potential cosmic shield. The question has exploded across science podcasts, news panels, and social media feeds. If 3i Atlas does hit, could Mars absorb a blow that might have doomed Earth? In a recent online poll, over 60% of respondents said, yes, calling Mars a cosmic bodyguard. The logic seems simple enough. Mars stands in the firing lane, and Earth, two planets away, watches from a safe distance. But the numbers, you see, tell a much more complicated story. At its current estimated mass, 10 billion tons with a metallic core possibly 400 yards across, a direct impact by 3i Atlas would unleash an energy equivalent to 2 million megatons of TNT. 
That's thousands of times greater than the largest nuclear detonation in Earth's history. The immediate blast would excavate a crater 60 miles wide and 3 miles deep, absolutely dwarfing anything in recorded Martian geology. For comparison, the famous Behringer Crater in Arizona is just over three quarters of a mile across. This alone is a wow factor that's hard to wrap your head around. The shock wave would ripple through the thin Martian atmosphere, sending a wall of dust and superheated gas racing outward at supersonic speeds. Any spacecraft in the vicinity, NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, the European Space Agency's Trace Gas Orbiter, China's Tianwen-1, or the Perseverance rover, would face a barrage of high-velocity debris. Communications relays could be severed in an instant. Years of painstaking climate data, surface imaging, and life detection experiments might be lost. Not to mention the painstakingly assembled hardware scattered across the planet. Mission engineers have run countless impact simulations since the first risk models crossed their desks. The consensus is grim. Nothing built by humans could survive inside the immediate blast zone. The Perseverance rover sitting nearly 2,000 miles from the projected impact corridor might escape the worst. But orbiters would be exposed to a hail of ejecta as debris is launched well beyond Mars's gravity. Even assets on the far side of the planet could suffer as seismic energy ripples through the crust, potentially destabilizing landers and disrupting sensitive electronics. Debris thrown into Mars orbit would create an expanding cloud of rock and dust, threatening satellites for months or even years. The loss of orbital infrastructure would cripple climate monitoring, surface mapping, and relay communications for future missions. For engineers who have spent decades designing, launching, and operating these incredible machines, the prospect is devastating. A single impact could erase the scientific legacy of a generation. The numbers are stark, 2 million megatons of kinetic energy, 60 miles of new crater, and billions of dollars in hardware at risk from a single cosmic bullet. For the first time, planetary defense isn't just about Earth. Every eye in the mission control rooms is fixed on the latest trajectory update, knowing that a single pulse from 3i Atlas could mean the difference between a near miss and the loss of everything humanity has built on Mars. But the consequences might not stay contained to the Red Planet. Earth's echoing vulnerability. A direct impact by 3i Atlas would be more than a local disaster for Mars. Planetary geologists have begun running climate models to play out the aftermath, and the results are sobering. The initial blast would vaporize millions of tons of rock and dust, sending a mushroom cloud high above the Martian surface. But the real story starts as this material escapes gravity's grip. Instead of falling back, a significant fraction would be ejected into orbit, forming a dense, rapidly spreading ring of debris. Scientists estimate this ejecta ring could circle the planet for years, shadowing the surface and threatening every spacecraft still aloft. Mars's thin atmosphere offers little resistance. Even moderate impacts can whip up planet-wide dust storms lasting months and plunging surface temperatures. With an event on this scale, the models show a global winter, Dust would darken the sky, blocking sunlight and dropping average temperatures by dozens of degrees Fahrenheit. Any hope for future surface missions or even robotic explorers would be set back for decades. The fine particles, suspended by weak winds, could linger for years, choking solar panels and masking the surface from orbiting cameras. The loss doesn't stop at dust. Atmospheric escape is a silent, persistent threat. Mars already bleeds gas to space, but a shock wave of this magnitude could strip away a measurable fraction of what remains. Some projections suggest a single impact could accelerate atmospheric loss, thinning the air even further and reducing the odds for future habitability. Subsurface ice exposed by the blast would rapidly sublimate, adding water vapor to the mix, but only briefly before it too is lost to the void. And here's a critical detail many overlooked. Debris from the impact would not all stay local. Some fragments, launched at escape velocity, could drift into interplanetary space, joining the stream of meteoroids that occasionally cross Earth's path. The odds of a direct hit on our planet are remote, but the possibility is real enough to warrant tracking. For planetary scientists, the biggest question is whether Mars could ever truly recover from such a cosmic wound. The planet's history is written in scars, 
ancient basins from impacts long past. But a fresh wound of this scale, in the age of human observation, would rewrite the models for climate, surface processes, and even the search for life. The environmental ripple would reach far beyond the blast zone, echoing through every discussion of Mars as a future home. When astronomers replay the Shoemaker-Levy 9 impact on Jupiter, they see more than a spectacle. They see a warning. In 1994, fragments of a comet slammed into Jupiter's atmosphere, carving scars the size of Earth and sending shockwaves through the global science community. The universe is full of mysteries, but does 3i Atlas prove we're truly unprepared for what's out there? Like and subscribe to join the conversation and explore more deep space discoveries.